Hi there, my name is Ronnie, and today I'm going to teach you some pronunciation of something that is a little bit difficult. Hopefully it'll be easy for you. And I'm going to teach you how to pronounce words that end in NG. This includes ING or vowel and NG. When you think about it, you have learned in English that this is G, like a J, 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 or a G. But if it's N and G together, the sound is different. It's almost like we don't say the G at the end of the word. So when we have NG endings, it sounds more like ing, ing. Trying to say that, ing. My mouth doesn't move a lot. My, the back of my teeth are closed and it's ing. It is voiceless, ing. Sorry, it is voiced. That means your, your throat will vibrate when you say it, ing. Let's try the first one. The first one is a verb and it's bring, bring. The past tense of the verb bring is strange as well when you pronounce it. It's actually brought. It's not brought. It's brought. Let me write that for you. Pronunciation would sound like this. B-R-O-T is the pronunciation brought. But the correct spelling or writing of this word is like this. So try this. Bring, past, brought. Good. Next. We have another verb in the past tense. We say sung. You might know the designer Alfred Sung. We don't say sung. This word isn't bring. It's sung. The present tense of the verb sung is la la la. Sing. So you can say sing sung. Try that. Sing, sung. When we pronounce the end of this word, we close off our vocal cords right away so that we don't actually say the g at the end. It's a very short sound. Try this one next. The past tense of the word hang is hung. Does anyone know what this word means? Hang or hung? Anyone? Verb. It means to put something up so that it dries. Um, you can hang up your clothes or you've actually hung up your clothes in the past tense. It means to suspend something in the air. So we have hang and hung. Something that is very interesting as well. In English, if you go and play with your friends, we don't say that in English. Oh no, uh uh. That means something totally different. If you say, I played with my friend, it means you had sex with them. Oh my. So, what you really want to say in English is, I hung out with my friends, or I'm going to hang out with my friends. So I want you to take the word I'm going to play with my friends and put it away in your naughty dictionary and replace it with these hangout or hung out. And it's ung at the end. The next one we have is an adjective. And for you Spanish speakers, remember this is not a G, this is a Y. So this adjective is young. There is no g sound, it's a straight young. Try it. Young. Do you know the opposite of young? Perhaps? It's old. Good. Next one is a noun only, please. It is not a verb. It is a noun. Song. So, if you guys like to sing, you can say, I like to sing a song. Usually you do not need to say I sung a song because it's usually the only thing we sing are songs. So pronunciation is song. And the lovely last one is another adjective. 
which is the short form ADG. If you guys ever see these in a grammar book or in a dictionary and you wonder what this V or this ADG or an N or an adjective is, this is what they mean. Adjective, noun, adjective. I will teach you in another lesson what these mean. Or look in the dictionary. Long is the opposite of, anyone? Short. So we have short and long. Pronunciation of this adjective is long. Try and pronounce these words. I will say them, you can repeat. The first one is bring, sung, hung, sing, hang, yeah, yeah, young, song, and the last one is young. Sorry, no it's not. The last one is long. I hope that this helped you in your quest to speak English very well. My name is Ronnie. Go to ingvid.com and you can learn more and more. Bye.